First off, I'd like to give thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for allowing me to be a part of the ceremony today. And I thought I should let you guys in on, on exactly how I'm feeling right now. Although I play in front of 90,000 fans in the Coliseum, I am much more nervous today than any, any game, ever. To President Nikiez, to the Board of Trustees, to the faculty of the University of Southern California, to Athletic Director Pat Hayden, to my fellow graduates, and last but not least, to all the family and friends that have gathered here today. I want to start off by saying a resounding and heartfelt thank you. We, the graduating class of 2014, realize that this journey we have embarked on would not have been possible without your sacrifice, love, support, and yes, your finances. When I was first asked to be a speaker at today's commencement ceremony, I was truly humbled, honored, and overwhelmed with joy. I thought to myself, what a privilege to be able to stand before my fellow Trojans, professors, and all who have helped me in making my dreams of receiving a college degree and playing football come true. As some of you may or may not know, my journey did not start here at USC. It began at the University of Florida when I was only a 17-year-old boy. By all means, I thought I was a man. When I made my decision to become a Gator, I knew my family had doubts about me going to school some 2,300 miles away. Nonetheless, they supported my decision and flew to Gainesville with me. They helped me get settled in the dorm, and three days later, my father, mother, brother, and girlfriend flew back to Los Angeles, and I was there all alone. However, it forced me to grow up. I found myself doing things I had never done on my own before, such as cooking and having to wash my own clothes. These are things my mother had always done for me. So thank you, Mom. I attended the University of Florida for two years, and one day I received a phone call from my family telling me that my beloved grandfather was seriously ill. I began to pray that he would pull through. I made a trip home only to find that my grandfather's health was failing rapidly. My mother was no longer working, and my father, that everyone refers to as Superman, needed to have surgery that would render him unable to work for six months. Some might say life happens but I knew our entire family depended on our Superman. I told my mother that I wanted to come home and take over my father's landscaping business. My family told me no and to stay in Florida and continue my dreams of becoming a scholar athlete. As you all can see, I didn't listen. Upon my return to the University of Florida, I went to my head coach, Will Muschamp, and told him of my family's plight. He looked me in my eyes and told me he understood and would do anything to help me return home. After spending two years at the University of Florida, I have no regrets, but once I began my journey at USC, I knew I was home. I will forever be grateful for the opportunity the University of Southern California gave a 20-year-old young man, me, Josh Shaw, so I could continue my dreams of receiving a great education and playing football. My years at USC have been challenging, but I have always been up for the task at hand. I didn't mind going to class, workouts, or practice, and then making the hour-long commute from Los Angeles to Palmdale to handle my father's landscaping business. I did this for my first two summers, and although it was never easy, I was able to experience so much joy within my soul because finally I could give back to my parents who had always given me so much. I shared my path to USC with you today to let you know that life doesn't always work out the way you planned. When and perhaps if you are met with challenges, my fellow, my fellow graduates, don't give up. Never accept no for an answer, for we are Trojans. I stand before you no longer a boy, but a man, a college graduate. I acknowledge the fact that there will be obstacles placed in my path, but with the tools I have been given from professors, coaches, administration, academic advisors, counselors, trainers, tutors, and others at this great institution, I know that I will not only be able to face those obstacles, but overcome them, because I am a Trojan. I now belong to an amazing network called USC Alumni. So Trojan graduates, remember that we are unique, special, gifted, and well-equipped to not only take on the world, but help change it. We are SC.
fight on. God bless you all. Thank you.